Hello, I'm Mike Hagen and I'm here today to talk about the Markins ball heads. I'll be showing off the Markins M20, however everything I'm talking about will also pertain to the Markins M10 and the Q3, since the operation is the same between all the ball heads. First thing I want to show off is the pan knob, and this is the small knob on the side here that allows you to pan and rotate the, the whole ball head around the top plate of the ball head. So you just lock it down when you get your composition set, and now it's locked. Next thing I want to show off is the ball locking knob. That's this big knob here on the side. You loosen it up, then you're able to set the composition that you'd like with your ball head. So once you get happy with your composition, you just lock it up and you're good to go. You don't have to torque down on it, you just have to lock it until it's solid. Once it's solid, it's not moving anywhere. Next I want to show off is the vertical notch here for going with vertical photography. You can see there's a cutout here on the side of the ball head and the, the reason for that is for people who don't use the L, L brackets on their camera. You can see now I just have a plate on the bottom side of my vertical grip here. So to go with vertical orientation I just rotate the camera into that slot, get the composition lined up and then lock it down and now we're into a vertical, vertically oriented photograph. Alright, next we have our quick release here for our plate. There's two types of quick releases that Mark and sells. The first is the screw release and then there's the lever lock release. This is preference. A lot of people like the screw release, other people like the quick flip. Um, I tend to like the screw release. I just like the security of it, but that's personal preference. Anyways, you put your tripod plate in there, the dovetail in there, lock it down, and just make sure that it's solid and you're good to go. Finally, the last thing I want to show off is the torque limit screw here on the side. The neat thing about Markin's ball heads is they allow you to basically set up the camera so that when you let go of the camera, if the torque is set properly, the camera won't flop over. So we'll set this just about properly. So now it's set so that when I let go, the camera doesn't flop down. However, it's loose enough so that I can sit here and I can arrange my photograph in any way I see fit. And then once I get my orientation, I let go and the camera's set up for that shot. Here's how it works. You loosen up the torque limit switch here or the torque limit screw here. You then loosen up the the ball head lock until it's just tight enough that the camera doesn't flop over. Once it's there then you take the torque limit switch and you screw it in. Just like I'm showing there. Now that it's screwed in there's basically two positions on your ball on your dial. One is fully locked where the camera's not moving anywhere and then the next is where the torque limit switch is. So you're, you can move it around, but the camera won't flop over. So that's it for the Markins ball heads. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy shooting.